Well, antimicrobial resistance is a global phenomenon. This is a real risk for all of us. If we go on um, with antibiotics producing their resistant strains, we're going to be in deep trouble if we try to cure people with infections, if we try to help people in hospital having their hips replaced or cancer patients whose immune systems are lower. This is a really significant issue. Dentistry uh, is responsible in primary care for about 9 to 10 percent of the prescribing of antibiotics across the board. So this is, whilst not a huge amount in terms of the global quantity, it's still a very significant amount for dentistry. The BDA has been looking at this for some time now and in November 2014 we held a summit meeting. We gathered experts from dentistry and from the, uh, the microbiology field in dentistry, but also from medicine, veterinary science, and from across all the interested parties. And we met together, we looked at the issues as far as dentistry is concerned, and we came up with a number of recommendations. We think this is such an important issue that we've been talking to the chief medical officer, who is uh, globally involved in antimicrobial resistance, and we brought to her attention that it's very significant that dentistry can also do its part in antimicrobial resistance and reducing that. So we've talked to the chief medical officer, we've talked to the chief dental officer about this as well, and we've been invited to join a group led by Public Health England, which is looking at how to take this issue right across dentistry in the future. Dentists can have this on their mind all the time. Let's make sure that we actually take our part in reducing antimicrobial resistance. There's plenty of guidance, evidence-based guidance, which dentists must be familiar with. And then when the situation arises that perhaps a patient requests antibiotics or antibiotics seems like the right thing to prescribe for a patient, think twice, think through whether it actually is the evidence-based um, treatment to provide, or whether an operative procedure, an intervention clinically, might actually be the better one.